Today's study is from the book of Luke and also in the book of John. And we're talking today about Jesus' betrayal by Judas Iscariot and the soldier, the, the servant who had his uh, ear chopped off. Okay, so starting in the book of Luke, we find a story in... In fact, actually, we'll start in the book of John. So here's a picture, first of all. So Jesus walked up, Judas walked up to Jesus and kissed him. That's the one the soldier said, and they seized Jesus. So Jesus' disciples, well, these are the, uh, this is Judas here, and the soldiers, and there's, he kisses Jesus to show that he's the one that he's going to um, betray. <coughs> <coughs> so from the book of Luke. Chapter eight, for the book of John, chapter 18, Jesus' betrayal and arrest. And Judah, Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft times resorted thither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked him them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let these go their way that the saying might be fulfilled which he spake. Of them which thou gavest me, I have lost none. And that's talking about the disciples and us. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then Jesus said unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath, the cup, which my father hath given me, shall not, shall I not drink it? So that was from the book of John. And then in the book of Luke, <clears throat> chapter 22, verses 50 and 51, going from the part where the man had his ear chopped off. And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed them. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. So Jesus knew everything that was going to happen to him. He knew he was going to betray him. He knew everything. And so for us Christians... When we, we know what's going to happen, we know the end, we know the beginning and we know the end. It's the middle bit that we have to go through, which is the interesting part. But as Christians, if we take the example of Jesus, that if um, someone who is not Christian treats us badly, then remember that treat them as Jesus would. Um, apply with wisdom and um, judge with righteous judgment, because God could be using that situation for his glory and to bring that person to to Jesus Christ by the way you treat them okay